All right, guys, how you doing? It's been about uh, about an hour and a half uh, to two hours since the last video. And uh, hey, I put out some information and uh, I appreciate the feedback, especially the bill. Hey, man, uh, you were spot on. I appreciate it. Now she running, you know, she was right at 225 and now she's back up to 250. Hey, I really appreciate the uh, the knowledge that you are putting out for this pit for the pit boss also for the judge uh right now hey uh she is she is running she's running good i do got some water in the pit uh let's run a little wet pit the color is coming along nice i'm getting ready to go ahead and wrap these ribs up uh but again hey thanks again bill uh i'll go back and let you see how i reset my my firebox because i did I was running it uh, with the divider on my first cook, but I just doing some experimentation. But uh, I think I had to go back to my first cook, and you just confirmed that uh, having that divider and the way you have your, uh, your minion method, it works works a lot better. You can see I don't have a lot of smoke anymore, so most of all that white smoke has cleared out. Just by doing a little bit, little bit of adjustment by, uh, that's my meter block, by either burying your wood Leaving your draft open maybe an inch and a half. I'm not an inch, about a quarter away, about a quarter. Okay. And uh, bear, at least burying your wood so you don't have uh, all that white smoke so it's not burning on top. Like my cabinet smokers, man, I can, uh, I got like two cabinet smokers that are very insulated and I can put my wood on top and they won't burn like this pit does. Uh, so, so I went back to the divider, the minion method, re reset everything. Uh, place some wood that was over this side over here underneath and man I tell you what it's it's been burning it's been burning clean so a little bit of adjustments okay uh, and that looks actually pretty good and this whole and I've been using that real oak that is 15.4 pounds I didn't even use that much probably that's probably I think I said 12 12 pounds and then probably uh, I'm gonna say maybe seven or eight pieces of wood, okay. But nothing than that, man. Look at that white. It's, it's white. It's white over. It's clean, and uh, that that lump is working pretty good. And I like Kingsford the best, okay. But just a little bit of adjustments, a little bit of people sharing what they know, that can can drastically help you out. But I did leave my plates out. I'm gonna go ahead and put those back in and see how see how that affects. But I know Bill say he uses the plates and the, the uh, divider on the judge. And what he just told me, everything pretty much is working out so far. Okay. All right, guys, there you have it. And I appreciate everybody. Hey, what do you mean burn underneath? Man, I was talking about putting the wood underneath the, uh, the charcoal. So instead of having your wood on top, so all of it doesn't burn at once when it's, when the heat rolls over, you kind of space them out and bury, bury your wood chunks. I mean, that's what I do also with my, uh, my cabinet smokers too. Uh, that cabinet smoker, this one right here is about nine, that's about 900 pounds. And that's the way I run my, uh, my cabinet smoker too. Okay, because that one very, that one right there is very efficient. Okay, uh, cause I got like two of those. But the pit boss, now, I think, I think we got to figure it out. So I'll probably do another cook probably on Saturday and see how, and I just go back to the original plan. Don't try to add nothing to it. Don't try to invent the wheel. Uh, keep it simple. I uh, hope that helps guys. Hey, thank you all for, uh, for sharing your input. Hey, God bless and a hey, happy new year to you.